Hello, my beautiful Cancer. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Let's dive right into your energies and not waste any time. Let's see what the universe has in store for you. Always use your intuition. And yeah, let's get started, babies. Hmm. Cancer. For some reason, my energy just keeps getting drawn towards that Knight of Wands. Um, I'm getting these indications of someone rushing in. Uh, but I'm also kind of getting indications that whoever this person is, you've dealt with them before. I am getting energies that this is not someone new. Um, this is someone who I'm getting that you are trying to pull your energy away from. But as you can see, Cancer, they're still rushing in towards you with some sort of communication, some sort of offering. I feel like this is someone who has not fully let go of your energy and is thinking of some way of manifesting a new start with you whether you're aware of it or not you've left quite an impression on this person they think of you of some as someone on a little bit of a pedestal and there's something about your energy that is drawing them towards you but i just must be honest there is also something in the energy that that knight of wands is carrying that gives me a little bit of pause the reason that i say that is because the knight of wands traditionally is known as very charming and alluring but they can also carry some player energies and considering the fact that the knight of wands has come out with the five of swords and the nine of cups i'm kind of getting that that knight of wands is coming in with a very selfish intention whatever it is that they want from you it's almost to fulfill their own needs it's almost to possibly even fill their ego there's something about this person's energy that's making me feel a little bit uncertain settled i'm gonna have to clarify as we move on but honestly cancer the more i look at these cards oh my goodness please excuse the noise in the background um the more i look at these cards the more i get indications of someone being a little bit manipulative and if they're not manipulative this is someone who just wants to kind of get their cake and eat it too so be a little bit aware of this reconciliation be aware of this person's intentions because i'm not a hundred percent sure why i don't feel so safe and secure within it I'm so sorry, Cancer. There's some construction going on downstairs. Um, banging comes in and out. But I've been pulled off these readings for almost a month because of this construction. And I'm just over it. I'm going to continue your reading. Please excuse me if it looks a bit choppy. That's what's going on. I think I have a little bit of a silent gap. So let's continue. I don't remember what I was saying. So just give me a second to feel the energies again. I'm a little agitated now because of what's going on. But um, where were we guys? I think I was saying something about this person coming in. Um, even though they do put you on a pedestal, even though this is someone who does have a very strong attraction to you, um, there's something about that their energy that makes me feel a little bit unsafe and unsettled. The Magician, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Swords, these are very self-serving energies. These are almost um, selfish energies. The Magician is a bit of a manipulator, someone who can create smoke screens pairing that up with the nine of cups um did i say something about having your cake and eating it too um and then we've got the five of swords literally one of the most um self-serving cards um and it's not necessarily a negative energy but like tarot depending on all the cards around it that depicts the vibration that i get from it and unfortunately guys i just have to be honest this person coming back in might still be carrying the same energies that forced you to pull away from them in the first place now i'm not 100 percent sure why you had to pull away but looking at that two of pentacles this could be someone who never really made you feel safe and secure you never really knew where you stood in this situation and something about their energies just made you feel uneasy as well but on an extreme level, unfortunately, the Two of Pentacles can be seen as someone juggling connections and not necessarily wanting to settle down. Um, and... <clears throat> 
Guys, I have to be honest. All the cards that I'm seeing here, this is someone who's not honest about the fact that they are juggling. This is someone who possibly could have kept it a secret that you were part of a third party um, connection, okay? Um, I think that's why I feel so uneasy. That's why these energies make me feel so un... I just don't trust the vibration that they are currently carrying. Do understand that things could change. This could be the energies that they were in. Uh, but yeah, let's get some clarifications. I apologize that your reading is so all over the place. I hope you get the message nonetheless, all right? <sighs> okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> all right, so let's see why the Two of Pentacles has come out. Um... I don't know. I'm getting a dual message from that. I feel like there's a group of you who just intuitively knew something was wrong. So you always felt unsettled. And then there's a group of you who unfortunately didn't know that you were being juggled. But let's see what's going on. Why did this card come out? <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. You just can, oh, you just cannot run away from tarot, can you? Intuitively, guys, I was getting a major indication that this person was untrustworthy because they put you in a third party situation. And then the card of breaking trust and third parties came out. So unfortunately, some of you were being juggled. Um, there was some sort of third party element here. It doesn't always have to be romantic. This could be someone who broke your trust because of their friends, uh, because of their family, because of their job. But there was definitely an external influence here that created the imbalances in this connection okay whoa why was this person being so selfish are they still being selfish what's going on here oh. Oh, we've got the moon and then we've got the okay wait a minute um, I don't know guys, I just get a lot of self-serving energies from this person, but also the moon could be secrecy. This, ooh, emperor with the moon. This person could have been hiding the fact that they're married. They could have been hiding the fact that they don't want to get married or they were hiding something. Something very pivotal about their life uh, that changed the direction of this connection. But secretly, they still hold on to you as well. And I think that's why they want to come back in towards you. Um, kind of show you something that proves that you can be successful with them. We'll see if, that's, if that rings true according to the cards. Knight of Wands. This card gets a lot of bad rap. Um, it tends to be a bit of a player, but sometimes it can be someone who's very sexy, charming, alluring, and fun. I don't know about the spread, though. It's just not the best energy. Let's see. This particular spread, I'm not liking the Knight of Wands. Sometimes I love him. I'm not going to lie, but this time, don't like it. I don't like his vibration. Ooh. All right, so this could be a good energy indicating the Knight of Wands coming in with an offer of true love. But another message that I got from that is that the Knight of Love, uh, the Knight of Lovers, maybe that's exactly who this is. But the Knight of Wands has always had choices or back then they had choices in love, they had options in love. And this is someone who chose to entertain those options, okay? They were a bit of a player, guys. Um, hmm. Five, um, nine of cups is this a selfish reason that they're coming in or do they just see you as a wish fulfillment what's going on hmm. okay look guys 
you are the cancerian sign so your intuition is very very strong with or without my assistance so the cards ask you to keep listening to your intuition this person's intention is to come in and offer you something that they think will bring you back towards them let bygones be bygones and have you start a new cycle with them but we still have this energy of juggling we still have this energy of um sharing energy time um your love your person there's something here that you still need to be aware of in this person's offer that you will know intuitively when they come back in okay this is a general reading, so I'm never going to tell you one way or the other, but just be careful is what I'm going to tell you for sure, all right? What's this magician about? All right, so this person just wants to communicate. Like I said before, I don't want to repeat myself, but they are hoping to manifest with this communication um, a small offering that will possibly let you, like, how do I put this? A small offering that will possibly crack the door open for the future. I think they know you still have your guards up because you know your value. And I think that the two of you are just not aligning. The queen and the knight never fully aligns in a relationship, especially if it's a queen of cups and a knight of wands. Queen of cups is someone who's ready and willing and wanting to pour into a relationship. The knight of wands is still enjoying their freedom okay so i don't know guys let's see what the queen of cups tells us this could be the energies that you're in which i really really love but also if you're new to tarot as a cancer you are represented um as the queen of cups okay universe <laughs> the cards are not easing up usually at this point the cards would be a little bit gentler but the message is literally exactly the same as it was from the beginning um this person's coming in very strongly because they don't want to lose you they perceive you to be something that um it's almost like you're falling out of their grasp and the knight of swords comes in at last with their last effort to ensure that they don't actually lose you. But it's a very brash, um, spontaneous and slightly irrational energy. So I do feel like this person's working from that kind of vibration. And do note that they are still a knight. Twice we've got the knight. And now here twice we've got the queen. The two of you are just not in alignment um, because you're just not looking for the same things, I think. Um, and that queen of wands has come out as an indication that you might still have to be very uh, protective of yourself like I said before listen to your intuition as that cat indicates um, something about this person guys illusions um, a smoke screen making you want to believe something that might not actually be true okay but your intuition will know your intuition will know whether it is or not so I have, wait guys, I've actually not picked up on much of your energy and how you're feeling about this person because they've literally bombarded your reading. Can I just get a few cards for the Cancer Vibration? Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. So you are looking for something solid, something stable, long, ooh. You're looking for something solid, long lasting, um, committed. Um, but this fool is an indication that you're looking for it in a new direction. You're not looking for this person to come back. And if they do come back, they're going to possibly have to come back as a completely different human being. Or you're going to feel like they're taking you for a fool. Um, these changes that you're hoping for, this pentacle, will come in a lot sooner that you, than you are anticipating, expecting. But... I'm getting an energy that your focus just needs to be on the Queen of Cups. And before you know it, some sort of shake-up happens in your love life that you weren't expecting. So, whew, I can't believe how quiet it's gotten all of a sudden. Thank you so much, universe. I can finish this reading. I do hope I remember to actually put the two videos together. 
Like, that would be a little awkward. But let's get into the light seers and see if there are any messages to close off. I don't know. The universe says keep shuffling. Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's never perfect, is it? Never, ever perfect. It's always duality, good and the bad. But that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Not necessarily just about this situation. I think that these energies from this deck are more connecting with you. Where these were connecting with the situation. But I do sense, unfortunately, a lot of you are still mending your heart from this person. This person did sting in a way that I don't think you were expecting, okay? Like I said, very charming energies there. But they weren't in alignment with you. So the universe is asking that you do focus. Focus on this heartbreak. Don't try to shove it under the carpet and pretend that it didn't happen. Focus on it. There's a lesson in this. Um, and th there's something about the lesson in this particular heartbreak that is actually the final lesson in whatever long saga you've been through when it comes to love. I do get a strong sense that you've had to turn your back on a lot of people and there have been a lot of disappointments, but it's the Ten of Swords. It's completion. It's over. But it's only over if you allow it to be over. It's only over if you've le let yourself learn lessons from that heartbreak. A lot easier said than done, I know. But everything that's happened in this past situation was just bringing you better, closer to this queen of swords. Perched up on your pedestal. Um, learned all the lessons that you need to. That sword has been sharpened and now you can pick up the red flags a lot easier and find the blue ones a lot better. Okay, I hope that that's making sense, guys, because I'm sensing that you are manifesting something very potent and powerful. Just make sure that you're manifesting from Queen of Swords energy and not from Three of Swords energy, okay? Heal, get better, then start to manifest. Ooh, and then the magician comes out. Something beautiful is coming in, guys. I was picking up on that earlier. I'm getting that um, there's a reward coming in for those of you who do choose to navigate this situation in a way that is for your highest priestess and not necessarily um, in a way where you kind of let it hit your self-esteem. Um, whoever this person is, they were on your path, but not forever, okay? You're still this high priestess. You're still on that journey. You're still manifesting. You're still creating. And you are now on the cusp of something much better, much healthier, much more divinely guided to you. And something that I love about this reading is that we had the Ten of Swords just now. Completion of the hard cycles is now going to be replaced with the beginning of the happy cycles. You're completing the harshness and moving into the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles time to celebrate cancer so go out be with your friends try to get your mind off of this situation work on healing work on yourself and i promise something 10 times better is around the corner love and light guys love you so much stay strong